the Valiva factor is present. Was Tupperids a student suit at the World Cup? Itari Tupperids lost to two coaches from Russia at once, and the main conclusion is that refereeing in Russia and in the world is significantly different. On the last day, the World Figure Skating Championships presented such a powerful digestif that it was difficult to get up from the table. The battle for medals, masculine in every sense, left several reasons for discussion at once. Why is Ilya Malin an only third with six landed quads and barely escaped Kevin Amaz with one toe loop? Trusova is mentally indignant. Why do the scores of skaters with a similar set of elements differ so much some over 290, others around 250? Why is Daniel Grass so far, who moved to Kristalny, although he landed all the difficult jumps? We will keep silent about the victory in the dances of the Americans Madison Chalk and Evan Bates, who fell in the free dance, but won seven points from the Italians Ginnard Fabry. Throughout the first half of the season, we actively criticized the refereeing of Elisaveta Kudavertiev and Jaeger Bazin, who also won with falls, but it turned out that it was the system. However, the situations are obviously different. What is the main lesson to be learned from this World Cup? In addition to our traditional division of the program into the number of quadruple jumps in conditional artistry, there is another most important part of the assessment allowances for GO, or Elements Evaluation Scale. This is not just an assessment by the judge of the element, but a derivative of the difficulty of the jump. That is, by jumping a quadruple LUTs, you add not only to the cost of the jump, but also to the bonus. The toe loop has a cost of 9.5 and a maximum score of 14.25. Lutz has a cost of 11.5 and an estimate of 17.25. If the jump is performed in the second half, a factor of 1.1 is also included. The difference is very significant. And if in rush allowances are set quite liberally, and plus two is automatically written out, then the opinion of the judges at this World Championship fluctuated greatly depending on the specific jump. Here is the future World Champion Sima Uno, who performed this trick for the first time in history, jumps a quadruple flip, and gets plus 424. And Daniel Grassl jumps to him with a more complex Lutz he seems to have landed, twisted, and the same jump. But the judges evaluate the height, span, touchdown edge and a dozen other characteristics in C. The exit is blurred, the height is not impressive, and Q was also thrown into the appendage for landing at 90 degrees to a full turn. And Daniel gets minus 197, losing almost six and a half points on one element, which is more difficult for him in terms of base cost. Itari Tupperids shakes her head when grading, but there's nothing to be done. Without an abundance of quads, it is more and more realistic to win, but there is also politics, this is how conditional rollers like Jun Wang Cha, Kevin Amaz and Jason Brown, got close to melanin. Look at the Emma's program not only at constantly working hands, but at the technical content between jumps. Let's just list it. Sliding at 13s, boat at 41s, spiral at 64s, twizzles at 85s, while entering Ritberger, jump and twizzles at 120s, Bedouin at 145s, compound bower on the 150th, the wheel on the 222nd, the cantilever on the 229th. For 4 minutes 10 seconds of the program more than 20 jumps. Almost no one in Russia has such intensity and saturation of connections in the program, and this is not the fault of the skaters, they simply will not bring the necessary points in the domestic arena. Grassl, with all due respect to him, wrote a significant part of the program on two legs, and yourself can take a stopwatch and compare this time with the same for Brown and Emma's. Although the political moment should not be discounted, of course, after moving to Tutbirds, Grassl faced about the same thing as Plashenko students in Russia. They are treated as strictly as possible. This is not a judgment, but if the seaters at the tables near the side see a hint of under-rotation, they will rewind, revise it, and put it on without fail. 
The initial score of 9177 in Daniel's technique changed to 7905, the loss is greater than that of Malanen. As a result, Grassl takes 14th place and loses even to Azerbaijani Vladimir Litvinsev, with whom Victoria Bitseva from Moskvich came to Tokyo, and to Kazakhstani Mikhail Shadorov, who is coached by Alexei Ermanov. It was he who succinctly said that he doesn't give a damn about Russian figure skaters while working at the World Championships. As for Ilya, he himself said about under-rotation in Kiss and Cry, but his losses can be easily traced from the protocol. Of course, the ISU should get together as soon as possible and raise the base value of the quadruple axle to at least 14 points instead of 12-5, but then the allowance will increase to the maximum 7, and the reform will only benefit one skater in the Federation, which means it is unlikely to be adopted. Cha scores 1386 with the first perfect Sal Kao and Malinin with the Axel 1286. The difference is already a point in favor of the Korean, although the element of the Russian-American is much more difficult. Let's move on the K-pop idol makes a calm toe loop and scores 13 points again, Ilya goes for a difficult flip, makes a mistake, and scores only 6-6 six, six points. By the third element, the ward of Rafael Harutinian and his parents should win back 12 points, despite the fact that in the components he will lose another 10, and quite deservedly. But for Malinin, bronze is a very good continuation of an adult career. Win it now, you could burn out on the way to the main goal Olympic gold, and so bronze becomes just a material for the next step in a consistent upward movement. Alexander Julian commented on the results of the men. I agree with the victory of Shoma Uno, I also agree with the second place of the Korean he skated brilliantly. Malinin is a brilliant figure skater. Third place from the first time. However, I would just like to wish him that he grows up as a skater. If he does at least 30-40% what Uno does with his body, then he will not be equal. And so Ilya is phenomenal with his quadruple axle. I get the impression that he jumps quads like triples, said the honored coach of Russia. Coach Ina Goncharenko noted the unique jumping data of Ilya Malinin. Ilya is amazing with his quadruple jumps, he is a boy with phenomenal jumping abilities. He studies with an excellent specialist Rafael Harutinian, but Ilya is great for not being afraid to go on such crazy jumps. The judges counted some shortcomings for him, lowered his points for losing the body on the road, and noted tiny under-rotations. The Korean Cha, who took second place, showed clean, impeccable skating. Every athlete dreams of performing such a skate in terms of quality and purity of performance. Uno, who took first place, is a very experienced and good rider with a professional approach. It can be seen that he is seasoned, if Malinin is only conquering the world, then Shoma is already performing on experience, although recently he has added in terms of expressiveness of skating. He failed Sal Kao a little in the free program, but in all other respects it is an unconditional victory. The last warm-up for men was very interesting. Many athletes are bright, interesting, this world championship delighted men's single skating. Goncharenko said,